In today's video, we go over KaiOS in a pretty in-depth walkthrough for those of you who want to see how the system works. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism and how to stay focused within our lives. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Today, we're going to look at KaiOS, and we're going to look at the UI, the operating system, the apps that are available, and why it can be a viable option for digital minimalists that still need some of the other apps in order to live or, you know, their work or whatever it is. KaiOS is a great alternative, but again, the big disclaimer that I want to put here is that you can be very distracted even with this feature phone. Yes, it is not going to have the best apps, it's not going to be the fastest, but again, it can be distracting if you let it be. It's part of you that you're in your journey for digital minimalism or how to, you know, remove the smartphones away. I think this is a good middle step between the non-distracting OSs like Punt, Mudita Pure, or Light. Uh, those are very basic, no functionality, and you know, they have their quirks. KaiOS is kind of like in between. If you have a smartphone, but you don't want to commit to that light, you know, no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no nothing, you kind of feel a little bit tense about that. KaiOS is that middle ground. So take it with a grain of salt as, as you watch the video. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the end when we're finishing the walkthrough. All right, so here we have it, uh, KaiOS. I am using a Cricut SIM card right here, and I'll be showcasing pretty much in detail everything that you can do. So essentially here we have a couple of texts. So I'm gonna send a text, uh, the text message. Um, just put, say hi. It is not T9, it's not predictive text, so it's, you know, just type and type and type. And it's, it's a very interesting experience. It's not the best experience, of course, but you can send messages. Um, and you can also, you know, kind of like if you are just on the run, you can configure different options, of course. If you want to add a subject, select messages, you can call the people, delete the thread. Uh, but also you can create kind of like your own shortcuts. And, and I think that's kind of like the best way to use it. You also have different options. You have the settings that you can check for, you know, multimedia reports, auto retreat messages, encoding, uh, and a couple of extra things. Like for example, the wireless emergency alerts that you can configure as well in your inbox if you want to get them. Extreme alert, Amber Alert here in the United States, things of that nature. Now let's go to, go to WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a little bit different. And I will say that if you're still trying to get a WhatsApp in on your phone, this is the best device uh, to kind of get a minimalist experience, but still have WhatsApp if you must have WhatsApp. And here we have uh, same chat with same number. Uh, the best thing about this is that you can send voice messages. So right here, for example, one of them is sending. So you press twice and you go over and it's right there, starting to record, starting to send the voice message to the contact. Uh, that, that's just my other number, my actual number. This is just a dummy number that I have right now in order to showcase some of the features. And you can stop it, delete it and send it. So we're going to send it. And again, uh, with your data plan, it will get sent. This is actually very nifty and very useful because uh, with a WhatsApp user, it will take you forever, you know, but if you are trying to type, you know, something that's going to be very long time. But if it's something that is uh, very quick, like a voice note, it will be faster to communicate with people. Now we're going to go to podcasts. Uh, here we have the podcast, the world news, uh, sponsor podcast. They have, you know, many different things here. And it's probably, you know, consider this right there. You're able to listen to it. So we're just going to play something. You remember 2016. And right there. And as you see, you can adjust the volume and different things. Look at how close he is. Right now he has 257 electrons. And we're going to just right there, pause it and go back. You can subscribe to any podcast you want. It doesn't have to be NPR. It can be, you know, any news media or news outlet that you prefer. And you can select it and go in there and, you know, kind of just get it. Then you can also go into the Google Assistant. This is my favorite feature. And of course, you know, you can search, you can do different things. This is what makes the KaiOS devices smart. And you have different languages, of course. You have English United States. You have, you know, the different things. You can send a message, make a phone call, play Bollywood songs, tell me a joke, etc. We're gonna, you know, take tell the Google Assistant to tell us a joke. So right there, tell me a joke. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Okay, that was kind of funny, you know, <laughs> right there. Uh, you have a joke and you can, you know, do and ask different things like, what's the weather like right now? 
Oh, they cannot connect to the internet. Oh, it's making a little bit. What's the weather like right now? Currently in Albany, it's 59 and clear. Boom. Tonight, the forecast right is there. 55 and clear. It gets your location and it provides that uh, nice, you know, different weather location that you want to get. Of course, you have also maps, uh, which is a very nifty feature, especially for digital minimalists if you don't want to carry a smartphone, but you still have access to a couple of maps. As you see, the experience is not top notch, but it, it is bearable, at least in my opinion. You know, you can have different apps. I have installed a good number of apps that I wanted to showcase to you guys, but you don't have to have all of these apps because they make the phone run a little bit slower than usual. So right there, as you see, the maps is not opening as, uh, you know, reliably maybe it's because i'm using a lot of the ram from the phone so we're just going to continue we're going to see if the browser can open so the browser opens you can go to twitter facebook top sites that's just whatever it says there uh, whatever comes preloaded but you can search your favorite page right there you have uh, wikipedia you can search back and forth you have one if you want to you know zoom out and two if you want uh, three if you want to zoom in th uh, two if you want to scroll uh, and have different things right there it, it's pretty responsive it's not the best but again it can get you out of a crunch which is pretty much what you will use it for if you want to listen to you know ted radio kind of like ted talks and everything you can also do that the speaker again is not the best but you can do it and then you also have um, there's a lot of election stuff because i'm shooting this as the election is happening so sorry if it gets a little bit political with the whatever it posts in there um not my intention but you know it's just what's happening in the world right now uh you have kai weather uh, which is a nice application very light very useful and right there it will give you what the weather is in your area and this is the thing or the theme with kai os it's a very it's a good uh, you know operating system it's very minimalist if you want it to be but if you want to maximize your time and if you are in a crunch and you necessarily you need these things then it's going to you know kind of like allow you to do the things on the fly now i want to mention this it's a kind of good that it popped up a lot of the third-party applications are like not whatsapp or like you know kind of like the third-party other developers they're kind of forced in order to use kai ad so that is the ad system that you have there so whenever you click a couple things whenever you update something we're gonna try to trigger it again so after a couple of you know things here and there you're gonna start seeing the ads and that's something that I don't necessarily agree with but it's part of the system and that's just you know something that happens you can add a city different things right there uh, then we have telegram of course I preloaded telegram I think on this device before uh, when I was trying it and the first time and again it wasn't the best experience but it was bearable so right there connecting is going to showcase probably my telegram history and it's uh, this one I think I got from the uh, different store uh, from the banana hacker store and not from the actual store so right there you have the different things that the different groups I'm part of and you're able to have them right there no issue um, this one I think you have to press double I don't remember right now um, okay let me see Ah, there it is i was able to get out you also have email if you want again this is something that you can configure yourself i don't have my email in here yet so I, I will not be able to set it up right now and showcase it to you guys but it's useful if you want to use it now this is the banana hacker store and this is something that i you know you can focus on you can actually have it's uh, very useful because it has all the different applications but it has them without the ad so most of the applications in here will not have the kai ads protocol which allows you to bypass those press key ads that will come and come once and once and time and time again now you have to essentially have a little bit um, of kind of like knowledge you know you, you have to have a specific device you go into the banana hackers website and then they will give you kind of more of the information uh, here and there so as you see most of the apps are here but not all of them are so make sure to check it out now you have the camera of course uh, and you're able to you know take a picture or take a small video again if you're in a crunch you also have Google Duo. This one is not as useful because you don't have video chat. So you can communicate with people on Google Duo, but uh, I mean, it's not really that useful because you're not able to have a full blown video chat with them. And again, I'm not expecting it to have on such a small device and small RAM and stuff. Uh, but at least you're able to call people, which I, I think that I think that's that's pretty much 
all you have to do. Um, I'm not going to set it up here uh, because I don't have a Google Do account with this number, but you can use it to call, especially in the United States, if that's your cup of tea. Now you have your calendar and right there you can add different events. Uh, all the events, starting dates, yada, 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 different things right there, notes that you want to add for the future dates. And it will remind you like any other phone, you also have a music. This is kind of like pre storage that you already have loaded in there. You also have the news. And as you see, it's a pretty responsive, you know, operating system It's not the best operating system, but it's pretty responsive and it does a pretty decent job. And right there, of course, politics is the first thing that comes in as there is a lot of things happening here in the United States. You have sports, entertainment, tech, crime, business, etc., etc. You know, things are loading pretty fast. Let me open an article and see what happens. Boom, right there. It gives you a preview. And if you want to read more, it opens up a website that you can read up a little bit more. So it's kind of like, again, if you would just want to stay updated on the news, you can uninstall most of these things. And if you installed Gerda.OS, which is also developed by the Banana Hacker Store, you can uninstall pretty much everything as well. So you're not locked into all of this. Uh, you have a clock right there timer stopwatch alarm you have a F fm radio if you want to listen to the radio you just have headphones i believe and you're able to use it you have the gallery uh, video google if you want to search something contacts settings twitter um, and of course the kios store i just want to showcase it just a little bit so you guys have a familiarity of what it looks like here in 2020 of course these things are going to change as kios 3.0 comes but you know we'll, we'll see how things develop the, the device i think it's good for those who are able to control themselves and need that extra accessibility so you know that's pretty much what we're looking for here you have social of course uh the reddit client i want to check that out that's something that's new i was able to get it you also have utilities you know different things here um, and voice messages things of that nature then you have news then you also have entertainment of course uh, kios devices are pretty big outside of the united states so i assume that there's also you know kind of like personalized news and things of that nature um i saw a urdu kind of like thing there if i'm mispronouncing it my bad please teach me how to pronounce it. I will appreciate that a ton because I try to be more culture and understand what, what things are doing, you know, or how things are pronounced and, you know, different things around the world. So please help me if I mispronounce right there. Uh, right there you have uh, different things uh, for sports, books and reference, uh, dictionary, yada, yada, yada. Just a bunch of useful things if you want to have useful things. A call log if you want to know who you called. Um, right there you have the notes. You have a you can create one then you have a calculator and you have a recorder as well you can have a recorder you have YouTube uh, two different YouTubes I don't know why maybe one of them was the one that came with it and another one was that I downloaded uh, yeah this one is just a link to the browser which is not very useful and i think this one is an actual application yep there it is that's an actual application and i believe i got this one out of something else again if you want the operating system to be distracted then you know it's going to be distracted but you can easily uninstall right there we're going to uninstall youtube because we don't want to consume a lot of time we want to use this for productivity and for other things you can uninstall it and if you go into banana hackers you can learn how to you know do way more with this uh it's been 13 minutes so far so i just want to keep showcasing a couple of extra apps but as you see the functionality is pretty good you also have snake which is a must of course you know when it has uh, when it comes to nokia devices uh and right there you we're going to have the kind of like the game if you want to have it uh, no i don't want sound so you know we're just gonna exit well we're gonna play once maybe uh, uh there you go good okay so we're gonna go back as you see it works and then we're going to continue with our walkthrough in depth of kios i'm going to be doing some walkthrough in depth for everything that i review i'm going to try to do a short video short review for those who just want to get gist and for those who want to get more then i'll also do that uh, this one was actually a good application that i found which is pomodoro technique it allows you to you know kind of use the pomodoro technique you can focus boom and 24 minutes is going to make a sound and then you can focus on the next task which is actually a very good system i'll probably be making a video about that it's actually something that it's very useful 
you can take a short break and then you can take a long break of course and then that's pretty much all it does but it's actually very useful i, I would say then you have voice recorder books uh simple file manager this is something that you can access the different things like that are in the sd card uh we're going to allow it right there uh sd card oh well there's no sd card in this thing right now so uh we're just going to go to pictures allow oh nothing okay well we're going to go to the pdf viewer it allows you to look at pdfs um allow there's nothing in my i think it connects everything with the sd card so make sure to have an sd card i guess in order to use it books uh this one i just downloaded as well i was kind of like interested to see what what was going on uh, i guess that's something that can be open with this uh seems to be blank so i don't think it has it has much uh, maybe you can add a couple of books or pdfs or different you know things and the last thing uh oh this is the maps uh, uh different maps maybe i'll go back and try to showcase google maps and see if it works uh and if it doesn't well you know it is what it is but here we have uh the maps this is from the banana hacker store so this is the open maps so open street maps which is actually very useful uh position not found goodbye okay well it wasn't able to find a position it's maybe because i haven't updated so let's let me see if i can update it real quick uh no that's the regular store so let's go to the banana hacker store and see if i'm able to update this maps because i'm pretty sure it's been you know some time since i have not been able to use it so open street maps there you go install Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's ready to be. Oh, the file format is not supported. Oh, I need to go in here, right? So this is maybe something that it's for advanced users. If, if you're able to get it, you know, uh, Omni SD will be able to uh, allow you to install the different. Ah, so it is already installed. Okay, so there's no updates per se. Um, well, that is that. Uh, last thing I'll showcase is the Zap Reddit client. This is something new. I have not seen it. And um, we'll see how it works. Um, front page, subreddits. We're going to just go to all uh, or announcements. There you go. Let's see. Okay. It's pretty snappy. It works pretty decently. And of course, it's maybe loading because of my data. And there it is. I guess you can sign in and comment and do all the things. Again, this OS can be distracting. It can be a, a bad thing for you. You know, it can be as, as distracting as a smartphone, of course, if you wanted to let it be, but it doesn't have to be, you know, and, and, and that's, I think, the, the, the beauty of KaiOS. KaiOS has uh, both the ability to, you know, have and deliver, you know, and, and have, you know, very useful techniques and it can also be uh, just a distract, as distracting as a smartphone. So choose your apps, make sure that you are doing it well and make sure to, to, to do your best. And, you know, thanks for watching the video. Right here, I just wanted to showcase Google Maps. I guess it was actually going to open this time around. And KaiOS is a very good, you know, uh, very good operating system i think is one of the best especially if you still have to be connected to to a couple other things but right here as you see uh, this one is very good uh, especially since you may not have maps with your digital uh, minimalist os device but this is just an in-depth uh you know look at kios hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one we're going to be focusing in an actual uh, minimalist uh, operating system which is the punked phone so Thanks for watching this video. I'm excited for some of you who are probably going to see this and maybe get KaiOS as an intermediary step before you commit to a more completely digital minimalist lifestyle. I think this is a very good step because while it does still have some of the functions like Google Maps, WhatsApp, it still has the distracting apps to be honest, but they're way more limited. So that is a win already because the smartphone apps are so powerful, so addictive. They're, they're made in such a way that they you know, crave for our attention. So I think this is a good intermediary step b before you jump into the complete no smartphone nuclear option and, you know, kind of give away that smartphone life. So check it out, you know, think about it for yourself. I'll leave some of the links for devices in the US or outside of the US that you can use that I recommend. And if you have any other questions or if you want me to showcase something specific, make sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it at some point in time.
Thanks for watching again. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.